Do you want to run a streamathon, or what's also called a subathon on Twitch, where when somebody subscribes, you stream for a longer period of time? We can set that up with stream elements. So let me explain how you can do that. But before I begin, I'm also a streamer on twitch.tv slash three. Link is down below in the description. And what you also shouldn't forget is to stream smarter, not harder. So for this, we need to go to widgets.streamelements.com slash elements slash shepaton dash widget. You know what? I don't think you're going to remember that link, so I'll leave it down below in the description. Here we are. This is where we end up. Make sure that you're logged in. If you're not logged in, you'll have to log in right here. And we're going to go to customize. We can also click on use element, but if we customize it, we, well, we can customize it so we can make it more our own, right? This is the widget. So in this widget, we can see that for subscribers, there are three and two and one, we have a different amount. Then we have cheers, which doesn't matter how much and tips doesn't matter how much either. We can see that this widget is 350 by 150 pixels, which is how big it is right here. And we can see some settings right here. So let's start off with a sound. So if something happens to it, we can add the sound, select the sound here. We can also not have a sound at all, but we can select, for example, drum loop. Make that a little bit less loud because it was really loud for me. <laughs> there we go. So now we have a sound on it and this sound is going to play as soon as there's going to be time edit. You don't have to do this because you might already have some alerts for subscribing or tipping and stuff like that. And then you will hear it double. If you get it all the way to zero, you won't hear it. You can add multiple sounds if you want. And here we can see name. This is the name right here. This is the code, so we should not remove this. But we can say, hey, what do we want this name to look like? We want to fade in, fade out. We can have the text font be different. As you see, this is actually changing. Uh, some of them might be a little bit big, <laughs> so keep that in mind. Here we go. We can make it bold. We can have the color be different. So this one is the highlights, and this is one is the one that it's actually displaying. Uh, for example, pink. And then we can have a stroke around it if you want to. Doesn't really work for this one, I think. <laughs> or shadow, which is going to be a drop shadow. So we can basically change the color and the font of the text here, of the name that's subscribed or gifted bits or donated, right? You can set the animation right here and how long the animation should last for it to come in. And then this is the time edit, which is this part right here. We again can also change how this looks like. Again, we don't want to change this. We can remove this if you want, and that just says plus 600 and not 600 seconds. Be good if you want. But again, we can change the style of the text and we can change how it looks like. So we can have this be white, for example. Black looks good, but <laughs> and again, you can say fade out, fade in. We can change all that on the original page where you actually edit it. You can see that it's a setup, so you can press customize, like I said before, and then you can save it. And then it actually is saved into your account, so it will start working with your account. Um, then make sure to click publish as well, and then it says we need to put it in OBS and then open a control panel to start and stop the widget. You can add the con you can add the control panel to OBS by creating a custom doc with the URL. So this is also something important because otherwise it won't work. You will not see the subaton work before you complete all the above stages and active widgets in OBS is in condition for this widget to run. So make sure that that is a browser source and that you have a browser doc with it. And this is the control panel. So we need to get the control panel to be able to say how much time we want to go on and off. So we can customize these texts in here, but now we need to save and then publish. And now here we're going to get a link, copy the following link URL, open OBS studio, select the scene that you want it in, create a browser source and fill in the height that you need. So we're going to need to go to OBS. Probably don't have this vertical sources, but just in sources, we're going to click on the plus and we're going to open the thing that's called browser source. I'm a little bit in front of it, but yeah, browser. Uh, I'm just going to call it Subaton. Right here, we're going to put in the URL. We're going to set the width and height, which the width is 350. So 350 and the height was 150. 
Make sure that you control audio via OBS so we can remove this. And press OK. Well, we don't see the thing yet, right? It's not here yet. But as we know, they said it won't be there yet. All right? And we can click this away, publish it, and click on Open Control Panel. Here we have the control panel, and we do have this pop out control button right here. If we click on that, we will get this link, and then we need to copy this link right here and go back to OBS, go to Docs, Custom Browser Doc, and then right here, we're just gonna type uh, sub button and then paste it in here and click on Apply. Now we got a new pop window that we can put somewhere. So for me, there seems to be an internal error right here, but the clock does seem to work, which is, I think is a good thing, so it doesn't really matter. But what you can just have as well is have this user panel open. So make sure that you have this, this browser open if you click on this button, right? All right, so you need to keep this open during the whole stream. Now we can go to setup right here, and this is where we can set up all the information we want. We have the clock right here, right? And what we want is we want, maybe we don't want start duration to be 24 hours. Maybe we want it to be, well, I don't know, five hours. Five hours is normal. You see change right here. And then for a tier one sub, we can have six minutes, eight minutes for tier two, 10 minutes for tier three, but we can change that. Hey, we can even say an hour for a, a tier sub or uh, others is also like gifted subs, right? That don't count on any of these. Tips per $1 gets 40 seconds. You can also say like a cent per second or something. And that would be like 100 seconds. And we can change that right here. 1 minute 40, if I'm correct. 60 is 1 second. Yeah, 1 minute 40. <laughs> well, cheers per 500 biddies. Uh, we can say 500 biddies. So a cent per second. We can say 500 seconds, for example. We can just set all of this. We can just say, what do you think would be a good number? to add to this, the starting duration of your subton. There's some extra commands right here. Sub pause and sub resume. This makes it so that you can say like, right now we don't accept new people for the timer to go up. Sub add time. If something didn't really work, you could add time to the subaton uh, manually. So if you're like, you know, oh, something went wrong, we can just add some time. Or you can say, you know, I went to the toilet and I took a break. I was gonna add the five minutes because we weren't really streaming. You can have rules like that for yourself and you can use these commands to fix those things. Then here's the end message. So when the time runs out, so this timer is on zero, this is what it's gonna say. You can say time is up, but you can also say thank you behind it. And if you pause the stream it on, right? So you pause all the interactions above here. This is the message that it's gonna say. It's gonna say that this subaton is paused, all right? In a control right here, we can also say, hey, we need to add 10 minutes and you can see it immediately comes there or we need to subtract an hour or add an hour. We can also reset the timer to the starting position. You can also just do that with these buttons, I guess. <laughs> whatever you want, whatever you feel comfortable with. But this is how you can set up a subaton. So if somebody subscribes, somebody tips, somebody cheers, or anything else gives you money basically that you get extra time to your subaton where you can also see a timer constantly in the screen. Make sure that you show the timer because then people know how close you are in finishing your stream. I've never done a subaton myself, so I can't really say what are good times to add for like a sub or anything like that. So if you've done a subaton before, let me know in the comments below how many minutes and seconds did you add for everything? Getting enough time for the stream to have it be hyped, but also not making it a little bit too hard for yourself because, you know, otherwise you've been streaming for two years if you don't watch out. <laughs> like a subatom of three years is like not doable, right? If you want to see more stream elements tutorials, I would recommend watching this playlist. I also have a cool playlist right here that you definitely need to watch. Subscribe here to not miss anything and subscribe here for my gameplay channel because uh, that's cool too and you should definitely watch that if you haven't yet. I'll see you there.